All right, ladies and gentlemen, CPI is coming out in about nine minutes. Previously on Kimba TV. So, uh, Sir Skyrick says, what do you think about the daily close of today? Well, the daily close is gonna happen in 45 minutes, right? Do you think um, there's gonna be a possibility for a value area, value rotation? Possibly, right? Because you have value area high here, value area low here. So if it comes here or here, you know, right around here, if it moves back in, you might have a full rotation play play. CPI comes out in 28 minutes. Malik says quick TA before CPI. I mean, I think we're all looking at the same shit. It's pretty simple, I think, Malik. Um, you know, one thing my, uh, my trainer, he told me, he said, what did he say? He just told us to be prepared. If you're bullish, you want this to come down grab that single print and go. If you're bearish, you want it to clean these highs Latouche and then go. The math is the math. So if the initial move is up and we, we start to clean, but if we start to come back, it's gonna go all the way down here. If the first move is down and it grabs those single prints and a swing fails and it comes back in, then we're gonna clean that. Okay. Malik. The usual, you know, if you go back and con compare and contrast, that's what I would be looking for today. Um, and then remember, the data is what matters. So don't be the dumbass that just, you know, blindly longs that or shorts that. Make sure you are able to read the data. What's happening? Are longs opening? Are shorts opening? Are shorts closing? Are longs closing? CVD setup. So another amazing opportunity today to find out how well prepared we all are. Um, if we know what we're doing. You know? So do your best. All right, we're gonna find out today. Malik's a short's opening. Just make sure that you've actually looked at the data and just not looking at by uh, EXO. All right, Malik, you went through and looked at BTC, USDT. You looked at OKX, you did Coinbase, you looked at CME. You know where the bad highs, bad lows, the single prints are for CME. Gucci? Yeah, so that's about it. If you're bullish, you would, I, you would want to come down and clean this. If you're bullish, you would want to come down and clean that. I mean, I would. And then um, if you're bearish, if I was bearish, I would want this to pop, sweep, and then come down. If it closes back below in this range, it's probably a swing fail. It's going to rotate all the way to clean this. All right. All eyes on S&P. Do you see what DXY is doing? Okay. You see what gold is doing? Okay. So we'll see if S&P uh, is going to do its thing, man. Sounds good. S&P is at 54.34. S&P futures is at 54.60. So it's going to gap. It's going to gap like this. So gap. Fill, go would be ideal for bulls. Are you ready? 15 seconds. Quit playing with me. The math is the math. 
eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year, motherfuckers. Let's get it. Let's get nasty on them. Let's get nasty on them. You know what it is. You know what it is. 15 second TA. Let's go. The math is the math. Come on. Juice on them, Lions. Juice on them. Let's go. Shoo-wiggity, shoo-waggity juice. Shoo-wiggity, shoo-waggity juice. You know what time it is? You know what time it is? What the hell is even that? Easy money, Bugatti money, Lions. Easy money, Bugatti money, Lions. Shwiggity on them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna, can I give it, ooh! Math is the math. Let's go, Lions. How many of y'all were here for the 15 second TA? Show me you know what you're doing, chat. It's easy money. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of y'all, how many of y'all are prepared? How long have we been talking about this, chat? Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, 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 ding. U.S. markets are open. SMP gonna gap that thing. Let's do it, y'all. Too much juice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the math is the math. We juice it like a motherfucker. Let's light it up, y'all. Happy CPI Wednesday, let's go! Um, let's see here, Alex says, but yesterday you said it has to be, you just said, you just said. Alex, don't memorize what I say. So first things first, Alex, don't memorize what I say. You just Understand said, you just why I'm saying it. Sometimes I'm let us, you know what I've noticed? Sometimes I will say bull div, even though clearly I'm talking about bear div. Sometimes I might say 61 or 62, even though I'm clearly meaning to say 61.5. So um, sometimes it's a good way for me to see if you're just memorizing what I'm saying or if you're actually understanding. But also, Alex, listen to what you just said. Yesterday, you said yesterday, bro. You have to read the data. Imagine thinking that yesterday's data is the same as today's, and so the data interpretation would be the same. All right, Alex, so you've got a couple of things going on fundamentally wrong. One is, don't memorize what I say, understand it. Sometimes I'm so uh, let us up that I will misspeak, and you guys will literally memorize the wrong thing. All righty. Um, yeah, so make sure you get caught up. Um, Mark Clue says, Kimba, is good my plan for entry for long is 59.7? No, because you didn't tell me any edge. No, that's not a good plan. You didn't articulate any edge. Um... Alex Grease says, yeah, but I just thought if it didn't sweep 62. So are you looking at CME? Why are you looking at 62? What is 62? What are you, I don't know what you're talking about. So Alex, you maybe weren't listening when I said this is a weekend wick. Prioritize CME and Coinbase. Uh, Coke Zero says data is here to understand it correctly. Do you think is a good long 5887586? No. No, I don't think so. Um, for me to b believe this, it actually has to turn 597 ish into support. Um, so I would actually much rather take the long if it breaks through 597 and can turn that into support. So it's, um, yeah, it's nothing wrong with being in it, but um, 
No. Were you here in the morning when we did the TA? I probably wouldn't long until... Um, this one, to be honest. Um, but you should always be thinking worst case scenario. So... Um, yeah, but it, it has to turn, it has to get above here because this is all it is, is we're back in the range now. We're back in the value area low and we lost it. So you need to make sure that you're not going to do a bearish retest on here because then since you already formed that, that's going to have a stop loss cascade, which will trigger this one, which is going to trigger this one, which is going to trigger this one. Alrighty, and um, like I said yesterday and today too, make sure that you're paying attention to the Boogamas for Friday too. Okay, um, I usually trade a little bit more on like higher time frame. So, alrighty, let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, 69 liquidity says Kimba to be honest I've seen what you're doing for me buddy I can't even thank you for that honestly brother if I'm helping you in any type, some type of way I think that's a quite that's an honor for me but don't forget to give yourself credit too I whether it's like TA stuff or whatever it is liquidity hunter I will take you to the like the edge that I can but I always give you the opportunity to do what you feel like you need to do, you know? So if you feel like you're improving, you feel like you're getting better, brother, don't forget to give yourself a little round of applause too, Liquidity Hunter, because I specifically will do just enough to maybe inspire or motivate, but it's up to you to really figure out if you want to nerd out or study something. So um, that's awesome, man. And that puts a giant smile on my face because that's the whole point. If I can just have a couple of y'all juice the fuck up, help you guys juice, change your lives, um, then it's worth the 12, 14 hours that I hang out with you guys. So keep it up, liquidity. Um, and I would be just as proud if you were, um, you know, losing a little bit or making hella money. The money part really doesn't matter to me because I've seen idiots be up millions, you know? So, um, I'm always going to be proud of you, 69 and, uh, keep juicing, baby. Mark says, what data do you look at? daily to shape your bias for the day if you just watch me mark you're gonna start to pick up on it the short answer is everything and anything i will use anything that is available so my dumb ass has a fighting shot to try and juice the fuck up but for example today um it's one pattern recognition how many cpis ppis and fomcs have you been with me to know that the initial move is usually a jibate. How many have how many of you guys have seen the jibates with me to know? Hey, low volume CVD div um, uh, open interest squeeze are all indicative of it being a fake jibate. Um, how have you been looking at boo gammas with me to know you know what kind of bias I have for traditional markets? Um, but yeah, I, I look at everything. So Mark, if you, if you watch me, this is the way that I kind of quantify it. I think if you watch me every day and I'm not talking about like you have me on mute, like 70% of the time and you check in with me once in a while. But if you watch me thoroughly for maybe three to four months, you will know everything that I know. Okay. The rest is up to you to be able to have discipline, self-control, emotional composure, all that other stuff. Sounds good, Mark. 69 liquidity says it's the improving what makes me cheering up. That's, that's beautiful. 69 liquidity hunter. Shout outs to you, my boy. Let's keep juicing. Do you have any questions? Coke zero. What about you? Coke Zero, you asked me if you thought the 58.8 long was Gucci, right? I answered you as objectively and honestly as I could. 
okay? Could your long still work? Does the 7.5 pullback hold? Maybe. I think it's lower probability, okay? But it shouldn't matter to you what I said to you earlier. You put your stop loss at break even or take profit, correct? So everybody that longed, you cannot lose whatever happens. And if you end up putting your stop loss here and you get pinked and you get left at the train station, you're not gonna cry. You're not gonna start turning into a hyena. You're gonna man up and you're just gonna get better. Everybody good? Yeah, I'm sure mm, I'm not in a long yet. So, yeah, I probably won't um, inter stop the music for a second. Hey, if you are in a long, I hope you juice the fuck up and at a minimum grab all the single prints, right? For me, it's like, I don't know. Um, I think at some point that's all gonna get grabbed. So let's see. I would say that um, if it can change structure, I'm down to get back in. Yeah, so um, Yeah, I'll just let it um, form the top and then see what it can do. But I'm not going to be impressed until it turns golden pocket into support. You know me. I'm stubborn like that. Because I, I feel like I'm not, I, I'm asking such a bare minimum that if it's bullish, it should easily be able to turn that local uh, 618 into, into support at some point. So yeah, maybe if we get like good reaction, and here's the other thing too is um, it's 1.30, okay, so we still have market time, but the closer we get to Macaulay, the less and less I'm gonna believe anything, you know? So, but I'm rooting for you guys though, man. Y'all better be juicing. Yeah, maybe something like that. I would start to, you know, do you remember when we, um, I think 56, breaks i think like a good alert to set i think what i'm gonna do is like 56 one lpz hey you one of those motherfuckers that's like if you know you know so lpz i know you, I, you ever set alerts have you ever taken a, your phone into a massage and you had alerts go off so 56.1 is that alert for me. Um, and I would, you know, maybe start to think, okay, what, what the fuck did it do with the single print prance, you know? So 56.1 is right here. This is what I'm talking about. That would be where the, my alarm goes off. That's where my alarm would go off if we went to the downside. Um, if we are going to go up to... We're gonna go up, um, then, well, I think you see it. So you already know about this one, right? So you have single prints in here, and then golden pocket and value area low, so. Grab and go, LPZ. Those are the levels that I would probably be looking at. Roger that. What about you though? Are there any levels that I didn't talk about that maybe you're thinking about getting nasty nasty on? I was looking at that 60.3. 60.4 as well. Just don't think I will get it. I don't think you will. I think it's better to start thinking about a possible long. Hey, hey. What if we go all the way down to uh, 49, though? 47. <sighs> <laughs> uh, 
Would you prefer to see a 56, 54? Basically, do you want a long in this zone? Do you want a long here? Because it's like, bruh, <laughs> like that 57 or 52, isn't it? And um, this is bad. And um, more, maybe even more importantly, the S&P low is also bad. Hmm. So your guess is kind of, what if we go to 66? What if we go to 66? The fuck? Mm, so that would be a little bit more of a scalpy thing for me. For me, if this is support you have a high probability to rotate to the other side. That's the way that I would play it. I don't know how long it could take. It could ding, 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 bing, bong, ding, dong, bing, bong, ding, dong, bing, bong, ding, dong, all the way there. Um, but I would just stick to this. If we're not going to rotate back in here and we're, we're going to start to lose this, you got 57 and you got 52 and you got a big ass black hole. Oh, what if we go to 49? Oh, okay. Well, I would say this. Um, if you clean this and a swing fails or fails auctions here, then um, I would look for here. I would say this was the deviation. So let's take it the same way. And then that might actually get us the 88. All right, y'all. Hey, thank you for an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I'll probably poke my head in before I go to sleep, but I'll uh, most likely see you guys tomorrow morning for U.S. Market. And tomorrow is going to be a long and late Let's night show. I'm going to I'm going to run the stream until like 3 or 4 a.m. I'm going to just be nerding out and working all night. So we'll keep the back cam on and I'll just be grinding. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see you guys soon.